This is Mr. Martin. This is uh, part two of the video on uh, continuity and the uh, intermediate value theorem. Uh, just a couple more examples to go. So uh, let's get right to it. Uh, for number four, we want to show that a C exists such that for f of c equals 2 for the polynomial f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 3 in the interval uh, from 0 to 2. So a uh, similar process to what we did in example 3. We want to check the uh, endpoints of uh, our interval, interval. So we're going to have um, f of 0. And if we substitute that into our uh, function, we should get negative 3 and then we're going to check f of 2 and if we substitute that in we should get 5 um, so that's our first thing that we need to do check the endpoints there and notice we go from negative to positive which is what we're looking for and we also know that f of x is continuous because it's a polynomial and um, therefore since uh, we go from a negative uh, to a positive and we know f of x is continuous therefore by the intermediate value theorem, there exists a value C such that f of C is equal to 2 since negative 3 is less than 2 which is less than 5 so we're looking for a value where f of c is equal to 2 we can see that our endpoints go from negative 3 to 5 so somewhere in between there it's got to hit 2 all right so uh, pretty straightforward um, so you get to try it now so uh, go ahead and pause the video and uh, after you try it um, when you restart it the solution will be there um, or if you want to just wait a second, the solution will pop up for you, but uh, I encourage you to pause the video and give this one a try. All right, so uh, here's the solution to this problem. Again, uh, first step is to check the uh, endpoints of our interval. Notice we've got uh, the value of the function at 0 is negative 1. The value of the function at 1 is 2. We know the function is continuous because it's a polynomial. Therefore, by the intermediate value theorem, there exists a value c such that f of c equals 0 since um, 0 is between negative 1 and 2. Again, if you have any questions, make sure that you uh, write them down and ask me. Another example, we want to look at why does the intermediate value uh, theorem fail to hold for f of x on this interval from negative 1 to 1. So if you uh, look at the graph, you notice that it is not continuous. So the first thing is that f of x is not continuous on the interval. And, um, you know, because it's not continuous, or the reason it's not continuous is that... Uh, there is a point of discontinuity at x is equal to 0. Okay, so this is why it fails. The intermediate value theorem. Last example here. Again, if you want to pause the video and give this one a shot. Uh, show why a root exists in the given interval. So uh, similar to the other problems we were doing, just a little bit different terminology in the problem. Um, so we're going to find the value of the function at the intervals. f of negative 2, if you substitute that in, you're going to get negative 10. f of negative 1 is equal to 1. Notice we're going from negative to positive, so at some point we've got to cross 0 and we know that f of x is continuous because it's a polynomial function therefore by the intermediate value theorem there exists a c on the interval negative 2 negative 1 
such that f of c is equal to 0. All right, so that finishes up these notes. Um, again, if you have any questions, uh, make sure that you ask me about those. And we will see you in the next video.